Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. Friday, we went down to Chanute, Kansas to play a two-game doubleheader with the Neosho Panthers. The Panthers won the first game 5-3. to three. The Blue Devils came back and won the second one 4-3. to three. Today, sunshiny and cool, and we're going to play a doubleheader here today. The first one will be a 7. The second one will be a 9 to finish up the four-game series between your KCK Blue Devils and the Neosho Panthers. So we'll take a break. We'll come back with the starting lineups. Welcome.
All right, welcome back, everyone. Let's meet the starting lineups for today. First for the Neo Show Panthers, leading off and in left field, Austin Oldham. The designated hitter bats second, Kim Custer. Batting third, the right fielder, Brendan Fry. Playing first base and batting cleanup, Brooks Miller. Batting fifth and playing shortstop, Alex Erlob. Batting sixth, the catcher, Lucas Pringle. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Cade Snodgrass. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Luke Westerman. Batting ninth in center field, Reed Liston. And on the mound for the Panthers, Dak Sharp. So it'll be Oldham, Custer, Fry, Miller, Erlob, Pringle, Snodgrass, Westerman, and Liston. The starting lineup for the Neosho Panthers. Now the starting lineup for your Kansas City, Kansas Blue Devils. Leading off in center field, Peyton McCarg. Batting second, the shortstop, Gary Goldbeck. Batting third, the designated hitter, Brady Patterson. Batting fourth, the first baseman, Jace Woida. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Parker McGee. And behind the plate, batting sixth, Matt Buffington. Batting seventh, in right field, Hector Candelas. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Jet Buck. And batting ninth at second base, Lee Allen Jr., on the mound, McLean Finley for the Blue Devils today. So it'll be McCarg, Goldbeck, Patterson, Woida, McGee, Buffington, Candelis, Buck, Allen Jr. with Finley on the mound. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the start of this one in a little less than 20 minutes. Stay with us. Thanks for joining us. If you get a chance, let somebody else know where to find this game. Take a look at it. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. It always helps with that so-called algorithm for YouTube. I appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to Sunday afternoon baseball on the junior college level. We'll be back.
I want to welcome everyone to the broadcast today. Breezy day, another cool day on the campus of the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Blue Devils. Coach Goldbeck would like to welcome you to the broadcast. He uses fundraiser money to pay for the broadcast. It is free to anyone that would like to watch it on YouTube. If you would be interested in helping with the cost, you could go to 4 com, as you see on the screen. Go to the donation page. There's several ways to make a donation. He slash we would appreciate any donations. We thank you for watching. Just for anyone to know, the reason that I do not play the anthem is YouTube is notorious for muting when an anthem is played because of copyright laws, so I'm careful I'd hate to get it muted so we couldn't do the broadcast. So we take a break at that time. We'll come back for the start of this one. Welcome and thanks for watching.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast sunshiny day on the campus here in Kansas City, Kansas, on the campus of the Community College Blue Devils. On the mound today, McLean Finley. He's from Topeka, Kansas, went to Topeka Seaman High School at 7.82 ERA. McGee, McHarg, and Candelis across the outfield left to right. Buck, Goldback, Allen Jr., and Voida left to right across the infield. Matt Buffington behind the plate with Finley on the mound. Oldham, Custer, and Fry scheduled up for the Panthers. We're about ready to get this going. Want to welcome everyone to the game. Strike called outside corner at the knees. Sunshine creating a little bit of a glare off the turf. For our picture of the hitter at the plate, that missed just a little bit outside. Wish we could get a little better picture. Maybe as the sun moves on, we'll be a little bit better with that. There's a foul ball over by the dugout. One ball and two strikes to count. One ball, two strikes. Little bit outside, two and two the count. Oldham starts the day batting 667 for the Panthers. That's up high. Three and two the count. That's up high for ball four. So Oldham with the leadoff walk. That's going to bring up Cam Custer, the designated hitter. He starts the day batting 378. He'll step in on the left-handed side to face Finley. Swing and a miss of that first pitch. On it first is Oldham after the leadoff walk. Throw over to first. Nothing going on over there. Owen won the count on Custer. Breaking ball stays up and out. One ball, one strike. The ground ball headed into right field. Right at where the grass meets the turf. We'll see if that scores a hit, and it is scored a hit. So a base hit to right heel, right field for Custer. That's going to bring up Fry. Fry will step in with runners at the corners for the Panthers. Fry starts the day batting 564. He'll be up there with nobody out. And runners at the corners for the Panthers. Strike call catches the outside corner. Owen won the count. There's a strike. Catches the inside part of the plate, much to the dismay of Brendan Fry, the right fielder for Neo Show. Go 
misses outside. One and two the count. That's up high. Two balls, two strikes, two runners on. <clears throat> Swing and a miss for the strikeout for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Brooks Miller. Miller will step in with one out and runners at first and third to face Finley. One and oh the count. Miller starts the day batting four twenty six. One and oh the count on him. Stays up high. Two and oh the count. Miller the first baseman for the Panthers. McLean Finley on the mound. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. Two balls and a strike. Top of the first inning action. Sunshiny day yet cool. Comes the 2-1, misses outside, so 3-1 and one the count. Charcoal gray for the Panthers, top and bottoms with the orange trim. Blue Devils, white pants with the light blue powder blue. There's a ball out of place, so now we'll be three and two the count. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. Over to first, nothing going on over there. Foul right back at us. We'll do the three two again. Oldham with a leadoff walk. Custer with a base hit to move him to third. Fry with the strikeout. Miller at the plate with runners at the corners and one out. Foul ball. We'll do the 3-2 again. Seven pitch at bat so far. Over to first, nothing going on over there. And this is just a little bit inside, so a base on balls to load the bases. That's going to bring up Alex Erlon. He's the shortstop. He starts the day batting 286. He had a home run in, I believe, the first game on Friday down in Chanute. So he'll be up there with one out and the bases full of Panthers. Run, 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 run. 
going to have a pass ball probably called that that runner's going to score. So the Panthers take the lead on. The ball kind of popped up and out of the glove of the catcher. 1-0 and the count. Now runners at second and third. With just one out. That's up high. 2-0 and oh the count. Alex Erlob, the shortstop at the plate. Comes the 2-0. There's a strike. Catches the outside corner at the knees. Two and one the count. Outside. Overthrew a little bit there. You have a tendency to miss outside when you overthrow. Three and one the count. Foul ball back and out of place, so the count goes three and two. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. One run in on the pass ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So that's going to bring up the catcher, Lucas Pringle. He'll step in with two outs and two on. Misses outside. Want to know the count? Custer at third. Miller at second. Oldham scored. He had a leadoff walk. There's a strike right through there. One and one the count. McGee, McCard, Candelis across the outfield. Buck, Goldback, Allen Jr., and Moita across the infield. Buffington behind the plate, Finley on the mound. Foul ball back to the screen, one and two the count. Oh, there's a ball right back up off the pitcher and called him safe at first. So that's going to be a base hit, a line drive off the pitcher's back. Another run will score. A line drive right back at the pitcher. It got away just far enough that he was not able to get to it as quick. So two runs in now. In the dirt, nicely blocked by Buffington. So Pringle with the RBI hit on the infield off the pitcher's backside. He's at first base. Miller now at third. That misses outside, 2-0 oh, the count. Cade Snodgrass he starts the day batting 302. He's the third baseman, fouled that one back, so 2-1 the count.
Foul ball back and out of play. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two runs in for the Panthers. Breaking pitch hung in there and got a piece of it, did Snodgrass. Nice pitch by Finley, but a nicer job fouling that one away to stay alive for Snodgrass. Waita. Smothers that one, steps on the bag for the three unassisted out. So the Panthers get two runs on two hits at the end of a half an inning. Two runs for the Panthers and the Blue Devils coming up. We'll be back. All right, here we go to the bottom half of the first inning. Dax Sharp, tall lefty on the mound for the Panthers. He has a 1.71 ERA. He's from Pryor, Oklahoma. He's scheduled to face McHard, Goldback, and Patterson, the first three hitters for the Blue Devils. It'll be McHard, Goldback, Patterson, Woida, McGee, Buffington, Candelis Buck and Allen Jr. So Peyton McHarg's going to lead things off. McHarg starts the day batting 280. He'll step in to lead off things for the Blue Devils here in the bottom of the first inning. Lefty versus lefty here. Swinging on the first pitch. And that ball is out for a home run to lead off the game. The first pitch, Peyton McHarg rips it over the field, over the fence in right field to get things started for the Blue Devils. So creates a little excitement there. That's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. Goldbeck is the shortstop. That ball's outside for ball one. 
Golbeck starts the day batting 463. The ball headed into left field. That's going to be a base hit for Goldback. So two hits to start the game. One of them a home run by McHarg. So that's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with a runner at first base. Patterson, the designated hitter, he starts the day batting 302. Strike catches the inside corner, sweeps across the inside part of the plate. That's down too low. One and one the count. Out in front of that, but fouls it away. <coughs> Excuse me. One and two the count on Patterson. Didn't get my fingers to cooperate there very well on that throw with the camera, but nonetheless, nothing going on over there. Go back, back in safely. Two and two the count now. Go back at first. So ball headed into left field. So home run, base hit, base hit. The Blue Devils are halfway to getting this thing tied back up. That's going to bring up Woida. Woida will step in with a runner at runners at first and second. Pringle goes out and gives the defensive call for the Panthers. There's a strike. That's almost an unhittable pitch right there. Lefty versus lefty. Sweeping, breaking pitch. Cuts across the plate. 0-1 the count. Squares to bunt. The bunt is down. And out at first base. So wait up with the sack bunt. Gets the runners over to second and third for McGee. McGee will step in now with one out. Runners at second and third. Two to one the score. The Panthers put up a two spot. And McHart charges the first pitch of the game over the fence to make it 2-1. Parker starts the day batting 315. That's high and outside. Parker McGee, the left fielder. Nicely blocked by Pringle. 2 0 the count on McGee. Swing and a miss. Took a little bit off of that pitch way out in front of it. Two and one the count now. Okay. 
just misses a little bit outside. Runner at third. Runner at second. McGee at the plate. Swing and a miss. So three balls, two strikes, one out. Gary get third, Patterson at second. We do with the sack bunt for the first out of the inning. There's a ball headed to deep left center. I don't know if it's got enough to get out, but it is enough to score at least one run. So McGee with a double to left center. Scores two more runs. So three to two lead now for the Blue Devils. That's going to bring up Buffington. Buffington starts the day at 356. He's the catcher. He'll step in with a runner at second base and one out. Found that one back and out of play. That's up high. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Runner at second base is McGee. That misses a little bit inside. Two and one the count. Panthers two runs on two hits in the top of the first. Blue Devils three runs on four hits so far here in the bottom half. Yeah. There's a hit by a pitch. Buffington. Hit by a pitch. That's going to bring up Candelas. Candelas will step in with one out and runners at first and second. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We'll take a break, see if there's any changes. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back. So the Panthers put up two in the top of the first. Blue Devils three so far here in the bottom. Still one out. Runners at first and second. Breaking pitch just gets back to the strike zone. Just about hitting. Got that sweeping curveball. In tight on the places. plate is Candelas. I kind of thought it was a little bit inside, but seeing how close he was on the plate, I can see it. There's strike two called. That's at the knees outside part of the plate. So 0 oh and 2 the count. Runners at first and second. In the dirt, nicely blocked by Pringle. But when it went back out front, the runner at second, McGee, thought, I'm headed on over, and he's safe at third. One ball, two strikes, one out. It's a ground ball at the first baseman, going to go to second. 
So they get the fielder's choice one to six, but safe at first. So an RBI ground out for Candelas. It's going to bring up Jet Buck. That's down a little bit low. Buck starts the day batting 342. One and oh that count. There's a strike right through there. Jet Buck, the third baseman. He's up there with two outs and a runner at first base. That misses inside. Two and one the count. Foul ball. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two run lead, four. The Blue Devils here in the bottom half of the first inning. I pop up, believe that's going to get out of play and does. Breaking pitch stayed way outside. Pringle did a nice job of keeping that one from going all the way back to the screen. So three and two the count now on Buck. Candelas will be off with the pitch. And that's a little bit high for ball four. It's going to bring up Lee Allen, Jr. Lee Allen, Jr., the second baseman. He'll step in with two outs, two on. Two-run lead here for the Blue Devils, batting in the bottom of the first inning. Lee Allen, Jr. starts the day batting 333. That's a pie for ball one, one and oh the count. There's a strike right through there. One and one the count. Cuts across the inside part of the plate for a strike. Candela set second. Buck at first. Lee Allen Jr. at the plate. The ball headed down the right field line. Nice hustle over there. To take a look at that was Miller. One and two, the count. Swing and a miss. For the third out of the inning, the Blue Devils get four runs on four hits. All started off by the first pitch of the game, Peyton McCard with the home run over the right field fence. We go to the top of the second inning. Blue Devils leading 4-2. to two. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back.
Westerman, Liston, and then back to the top of the order with Oldham for the Panthers. Westerman, the second baseman, he starts the day batting 222. Strike called. Fastball fouled down the right field line and out of play. Way outside. One and two the count. Swing and a miss for the strikeout for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Liston. Liston starts the day batting 167. He'll step in with one out and nobody on. Swing and a miss of that breaking pitch. Actually got a piece of it right into the glove of Buffington. Oh, and one the count. Outside. One ball, one strike, one out. Outside. Two and one the count on the center fielder. Reed Liston for the Panthers. Just missed a little bit low. Three and one the count. Foul ball back and into the screen. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. Like to have a quick check of the stat, how many three and two counts we've had. Strike three called, catches the outside corner. So back-to-back -back strikeouts, and we go back to the top of the order. Oldham walked and scored on a pass ball his first at bat. Takes ball one. There's a strike called on the outside corner. Oldham is from Gardner, Kansas. Went to Gardner Edgerton High School. It's a ground ball headed foul down toward toward, war, toward Woyda. Try and say that a couple times fast. So one and two. There's a ball headed into left field. So Oldham with the opposite field base hit. Two out hit by Oldham. That's going to bring up Custer. Custer will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. Custer had a base hit to right field his first time up. Custer is from Chanute, Kansas. There's a strike called. Had my wrong camera on there to have his backside instead of a shot at the open side on him. Oh, and won the count. There's a breaking ball. Comes back across. Catches the inside half of the plate for an 0-2 count. So down in the count, 0-1-2. Outside. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the second inning action. 
runner at first base. We'll throw over to first. Nothing going on over there. Back in easily is Austin Oldham. He had this two-out base hit. Had a swing, going to throw down to first to finish the out. So a three strikeouts in an inning with a base hit in the middle of all of it. One hit, no runs in the inning. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Blue Devils lead four to two. We'll be back. All right, here we go to the bottom half of the second inning. Blue Devils batted around in the first. It's a little tapper bunt. I looked away for McCarg. McCarg is from Saskatoon, Canada, out there on a 1 3. That's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. He's from Kansas City, Kansas. He'll step in with one out and nobody on. That miss is just a little bit low end or outside. There's a strike called. One ball, one strike, one out. Goldback had a base hit into right field his first time up. Breaking pitch swoops outside. I guess it really sweeps outside, I think I would normally say. Two and one the count on Gary Goldback. Way outside, three and one. Oldham, List, and Fry left to right across the outfield. Snodgrass or Lobb. Westerman and Miller across the infield. Pringle behind the plate was sharp on the mound. There's a ground ball just foul over there at first base being patrolled by Miller, the first baseman of the Panthers. Ball headed down to into left field. Oldham comes over to take care of that. So that's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with two outs here. Patterson is from Auburn, Kansas. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on. Little bit low, one and oh the count. Panthers put up a two spot in the top of the first. Blue Devils answered with four in their bottom half. There's a strike right through there. So we're in the bottom of the second inning. Inside. 
two and one the Kent. Panthers with two strikeouts, a hit, and another strikeout in their second inning. There's a high fly ball to deep left field. Going back to take a look at that is Oldham and actually Liston comes over as the ball kind of fades back. So three up, three down in the bottom half of the second inning for the Blue Devils. We go to the top of the third. Blue Devils leading four to two. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go to the top half of the third inning. Third inning we go. Fry, Miller, and Erlob. In the dirt. Fry is from Fort Collins, Colorado. There's a ball right back up the middle for a base hit. So Fry struck out his first time and then drove that one right back up through the box past the pitcher. That's going to bring up Brooks Miller. Miller will step in with nobody out and a runner at first base. Miller is from Pryor, Oklahoma. He reached on a base on balls his first time up. There's a swing and a miss. Top of the third inning action. Lead off. Base hit for the Panthers by Brendan Fry. Swing and a miss. So a couple of breaking pitches swung through by Brooks Miller. Outside, nicely blocked by Buffington. One and two, the count. Outside, two balls and two strikes. Breaking pitch hung in there, did Miller and got a piece of it. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two again. Breaking pitch got just a piece of him. So that's going to bring up Erlob. Erlob will be up there. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. 
Her lob is from West Fargo, North Dakota. Went to West Fargo Cheyenne High School. He struck out his first time up. There's a bunt foul almost caught in the air by Jet Buck. So Owen won the count on Alex Erlob, the shortstop for Neo Show. See if Erlob is still asked to sack Bunt here. Swinging away, he swings through that one. So Owen to the count now on Erlob. up high. One and two the count. <clears throat> One and two the count. Just a little bit low. Two balls and two strikes. It's up high and outside. Three and two, the Kim. Misses outside. So a base hit, a hit by a pitch, and a base on balls. And just like that, the bases are loaded with nobody out. It's going to bring up Lucas Pringle. Going to get a visit to the mound. We'll see if there's any changes Have a non-conference game on Tuesday, and then on Thursday, Cali will come into town for two games, and then on Saturday, we'll roll down to Arc City, actually going down on Friday night, going to play on Saturday, still looking for a sponsor for the game on Tuesday, if anyone would like to to sponsor that game, if you'd get a hold of me at 4Ts.com, the email address is j4slr at 4Ts.com. Make a donation, and we'll try and pick up those non-conference games. Back to the action. Visit to the mound is over. Bases are loaded. There's a strike right through there. Fry at third, Miller at second, Erlob at first. Pringle at the plate. He had an RBI base hit his first time up. That's way outside, one and one the count. McLean Findy, Finley, a little bit of a pickle he's got himself into here. Base hit, a hit by a pitch, and then a walk. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. So one and two. Strike out here or a one hopper back to the pitcher for a double play would be good. That's outside. That's going to be a wild pitch. And that wild pitch is going to score a run. So two and two the count.
Runners now at second and third. Miller at third, Erlob at second. Tying outside. Three and two the count. It's a ground ball headed to the right side. Lee Allen Jr. takes care of that, but a run is going to score. So a 4-3 ground out that scores a run to tie this thing up. A little behind on my bookwork there. Sorry about that. But it is 4-4 four four here in the top of the third. Runner now at third. Misses just a little bit outside. That's going to bring up Snodgrass. Snodgrass is from Derby, Kansas. Pringles from Shawnee, Kansas went to Mill Valley that just had that. Ground out for a run scored. So two runs in so far. One ball, one strike, one out to Snodgrass, the third baseman. Foul ball back to the screen. One ball, two strikes, one out. Snodgrass grounded out up to Woyda at first unassisted to end the first inning. Called strike and strike three. So that's going to bring up Westerman. Westerman will step in. He's from Derby, Kansas as well. A little bit low on that breaking pitch. So two outs now. Runner at third base is Erlob. Breaks outside. Two and over the count. Erlob at third. It's a ground ball headed over to the right side. Lee Allen Jr. up with that and over to Woida. So two runs scored to tie this thing up. Two runs on just one hit. We go to the bottom half of the third. We're all tied up at four. Stay with us. All right, Woida will step in, all tied up at four.
just misses inside. Voida is from Lincoln, Nebraska. Went, went to St. Pius X High School. Want to know the count on Voida? Breaking pitch stayed up high. Voida had a sack bunt his first time up. There's a strike called lowest part of the limit there, but nonetheless called a strike. Two and one the count. There's strike two right through there. Both teams with four runs on four hits. No errors by either team yet. Two and two the count on Moida. There's strike three called. That's going to bring up McGee. McGee will step in with one out and nobody on. McGee is from Liberty, Missouri. Went to Liberty High School. He'll step in with one out and nobody on. Foul ball back and into the screen. Owen won the count. First game is a scheduled seven-inning game. The second one is a nine. Owen won the count on McGee. Out of play down the right field line. McGee with the double with two RBI. His bat at bat in the first inning. That's low and inside, so one and two the count. On the left fielder, Parker McGee. Swinging him. Miss of that pitch. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dak Sharp from Pryor, Oklahoma. It's going to bring up Buffington. Buffington is from Andover, Kansas. Kansas went to Andover Central. All the way back to the screen and ball one. There's a strike, catches the inside corner, one and one the count. Buffington was hit by a pitch his first time up. There's a ball headed down the right field line and called foul. The umpire behind the plate didn't call anything. Buffington gives a bat flip and starts to go ahead and run, and then the umpire in the outfield called a foul ball. Coach Goldbeck would like to talk to him about that. I don't know if the guys can tell if they even saw it's probably already gone by on our delay look. But ruled a foul ball. One ball and one strike to Buffington. One, two. one and two. It's a ball headed into left field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to fall in front of Oldham for a two out base hit for Buffington. Into left field. That's going to bring up Candelas. Candelas will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. Candelas is from San Juan, Puerto Rico. He'll step in tight on that left-handed side. He had an RBI. Back to the pitcher his first time up. Actually, I have that down. He had 
ground ball. That was a 3-6 fielder's choice that yielded a run his first at bat. Tying inside. 1-0 the count. Runner at first base is Buffington. Two and oh, the count. That's up high. Three and oh, the count on the right fielder. Hector Candelas. Top part of the zone there. I'm not a big fan of the zone being expanded on 3 and 0. Oh, but 3 and 1 after the pitch called. Going to be a soft line drive for the third out of the inning, taken care of by Erlob. So no runs on one hit in the bottom of the third. We go to the top of the fourth, all tied up at four. Stay with us. We'll be back. New pitcher for the Blue Devils, Mark Elliott, is going to come in in relief. There's a ball headed into right field. So Elliott is touched for a base hit by Liston. Liston is from Derby, Kansas. He promptly puts that ball into right field for a base hit. It's a bunt back to the pitcher, and he's going to go down to first. So back to the top of the order with Oldham and a sack bunt. Back to the mound, moves the runner to second base. So Liston now will be at second base. That's going to bring up Cam Custer. He's had a base hit and a strikeout so far. He'll step in with a runner at second base. With one out, Elliot on in relief. That's outside. Elliot is from Olathe, Kansas. Get a little visit out to the mound by Buffington. Buffington. 
runner at second base is Liston. He led off the inning first pitch of Elliott's and hit it into right field for a base hit. Moved up on the sack bunt by Oldham. Foul ball out of play down the right field line. So one ball, one strike, one out, one on. Both teams with four runs on, five hits, and no errors. We're in the top of the fourth. I owe you some paperwork. I still show the third inning. That misses a little bit outside. Two balls and one strike now on Kim Custer. That's outside. Three and one the count. The so ground ball. Gloved by Elliott, the pitcher, and then over to Wada. So two, one, three ground outs for the two outs of the inning, but it moves Liston over to third base. It's going to bring up Fry. Fry is struck out and had a base hit right back up through the box. Breaking pitch just sweeps outside for ball one. Runner at third is Liston. There's a foul ball down into the feet of the hitter. Brendan Fry, he's the right fielder. Just a little bit low. Paul headed out into shallow left field. Jet Buck with the basket catch. So no runs on one hit for the Panthers. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. We're still tied at four. Thanks for joining me. All right, to the bottom of the fourth we go. Dax Sharp back for another inning of work. Jet Buck will lead things off for the Blue Devils. He is from Kansas City, Missouri. 
He went to Liberty North High School. There's a base hit headed right back up the middle for a base hit. So Jet Buck with a leadoff hit up the middle. That's going to bring up Lee Allen Jr. Lee Allen Jr. is from Kansas City, Missouri also, but he went to Lincoln Prep, Lincoln College Prep High School. So Buck is at first. Squares to bunt. Runner's going to head for second base. Andy's going to be safe. So Lee Allen Jr. squared to bunt. It looked like an attempt to me, but they ruled it a ball. 1 and 0 oh the count. So we get a sacrifice bunt without a sacrifice out. Out of that pitch in the dirt. Squares to bunt again. Takes a strike this time. One ball, one strike. We're all tied up at four here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Squared to bunt. And the pitcher comes off the mound and catches that one in the air and doubles Buck off a second base. So we go from no outs and a runner at second base to no runners and two outs. Strike called on that first pitch to McCarg. McCarg's up there now with two outs and nobody on. Sweeping curveball just misses outside. One and one the count. Looked good to me, but ruled evidently a little bit low. Two and one the count. Two balls, one strike on Peyton McCarg. He let the game off. First pitch of the game with a home run. Then he grounded back to the pitcher. That ball misses inside, three and one. I believe his second ground out, that was a bunt attempt because I was thinking from power hitter home run to a bunt. There's a foul ball over into the dugout. On the first base side of the Panthers, all tied up at four here in the fourth, bottom of the fourth. It's outside. So a base on balls to McHarg. That's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. Goldbeck will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. After that two out walk to McHarg. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. In tight on the plate is Goldbeck. Breaks just a little bit low. One and one the count. Goldbeck's had a base hit and a fly out to left field. His base hit was to right. The ground ball hit it at the second baseman. Westerman underhands that over to Erlob for the third out of the inning. So the Blue Devils get no runs on one hit. We go to the top of the fifth, all tied at four.
Elliott back for another inning of work. Miller, Erlaub, and Pringle scheduled up for the Panthers. There's a strike called on the outside part of the plate. Miller has reached on a base on balls and been hit by a pitch. Swinging a miss through that off-speed pitch so quickly owing to the count on Brooks Miller. Elliott on in relief of Finley. Finley went three innings. Yeah, Jet. Jet Buck yeah, Jet. with a diving play. A nice rip by Miller. And a nicer play by Buck to get him out at first. Great play by Jet Buck. Put a start. In the box on that one. That's going to bring up Erlob. Erlob will step in with one out and nobody on. Stays outside, does that pitch. The high fly ball headed to deep right center. That's going to be extra bases for Erlob. Erlob is going to get caught part way, but he's going to have a double to the right field fence. So a two-base hit for Erlob. It's going to bring up Pringle. Pringle will step in with a runner at second base and one out. Want to know the count? It's a ground ball foul down the first baseline. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Lucas Pringle at the plate. He's had an RBI base hit and an RBI ground out to the second baseman in this one. Ball sweeps way outside, two and one the count. Way outside. Three and one the count now on the catcher for the Panthers, Lucas Pringle. Down low for ball four. It's going to bring up the third baseman, Cade Snodgrass. He'll step in with one out, runners at first and second. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We'll take a break. We'll be back, see if there's any changes. Thanks for watching.
So the pitching change has been made. Bring in the right-hander, Zach DeFries. He has a 7.71 ERA. He is from Liberty, Missouri. Went to Liberty North High School. Snodgrass will step in with one out and runners at first and second base. There's a breaking ball hit right back up the middle. So the first pitch from DeFries is an RBI base hit. Four Snodgrass. Going to put the Panthers ahead 5-4. So a great play by Buck to get a ground out to start off the inning. Then we've had a double, a walk, and a single for an RBI. That's going to bring up Westerman. Westerman takes strike one. So after the RBI base hit, we're right back to runners at first and second, except that one run is in now for the Panthers to take a 5-4 to four lead. Foul ball back and over the dugout. Owen oh, won the count. Runners at first and second. Stayed up high. One ball, one strike, one out. One run lead for the Neo Show Panthers. One, two, base. Was one and two the count. That's up high for two, two. You did miss that pitch that you thought you missed that I missed you missing. <laughs> so two and two the count. Way up high and inside. DeFries on in relief of Elliot. Elliot came in after three. He pitched an inning in a third. Then DeFries has been in. Foul ball back and out of play. So we'll do the 3-2 again. The ball headed into right field. Going to hold him up at third. So that's going to load the bases. So Westerman with a base hit to right field. It's going to bring up Reed Liston. Liston's been called out on strikes and had a base hit. He'll be up there with one out and the bases full of Panthers. Erlob at third, Snodgrass at second, and Westerman at first. It's a high chopper to Voida at first, and we get the fielder's choice and get the second out of the inning at home. So three to two. Fielder's choice back to the top of the order with Oldham. Oldham's had a base hit and a walk and a ground out in this one. Ball down low. So the bases are still loaded. They were loaded for that fielder's choice at home base. Home plate, I should say. There's a strike on the outside corner at the knees. 
one and one the count. Two outs. There's a ball headed into left field. That's going to score two. So Oldham with a two RBI base hit to left field is going to put the Panthers up seven to four. That's going to bring up Custer. Custer will step in with two outs and runners at the corners. Custer's had a base hit, a strikeout, and a ground out back to the pitcher. Wait over to take a look at that, and it's out of play. Custer, the designated hitter. Cam Custer. Throw over to first. Nothing going on over there. Back in safely is Oldham. He's over there at first after that two RBI base hit. Way outside. Buffington saves a run right there. On a pitch that would have been a wild pitch way outside. One ball, one strike, two outs. Pop up, foul back over the top of us. So one and two the count. Runner goes and the breaking pitch for the cold strikeout. So the Panthers get three runs on one, two, three, four hits to take a seven to four lead. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Blue Devils trailing by three. We'll be back. All right, here we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Patterson, Woida, and McGee scheduled up. There's a strike called on the outside corner. Patterson has had a base hit and a fly out. Swinging him is. He was tardy on that one. 0-2. Oh Final ball back to the screen, so we'll do the 0-2 again.
little view of the dugout. The Blue Devils trying to get some stuff going here. Fouled that one away. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. It's going to bring up Wada. Wada's had a sack, bunt, and called out on strikes. He'll step in with one out, nobody on. That's down low. There's a strike called, one ball, one strike, one out here in the inning. Blue Devils trail by three. It's a ground ball backhanded by Miller at first. He steps on the bag for the second out of the inning. It's going to bring up McGee. McGee has had a double. And a strikeout. The double had two RBI with it. That's in the dirt and all the way back to the screen. Want to know the count? McGee, the left fielder. Way inside. Two and oh, the count now. Strike out and a ground out unassisted to first base for the first two outs of the inning here in the bottom of the fifth. There's a base hit into left field. So McGee with the base hit into left field. It's going to bring up Buffington. Buffington will step in. He's been hit by a pitch. And had a base hit into left field. He'll step in with two outs and a runner at first base. There's a ball headed straight at center field. Liston takes care of that. So Buffington hits it hard, but right at the center fielder. So no runs on one hit here in the bottom of the fifth. The Blue Devils trail by three. We go to the top of the sixth. All right, here we go to the top of the sixth inning. Blue Devils trailing by three. 
Fry, Miller, and Erlob scheduled up. Fry has been out on a pop-up to the shortstop, a strikeout, and a base hit to center field. Fouls that first pitch back to the screen. Owen won the count. Top of the sixth inning. Scheduled seven-inning game is the first of the doubleheader. That misses the inside. One and one the count. Final ball on that pitch. One and two the count. One and two on Brendan Fry, the right fielder. Misses just a little bit outside, two and two the count. Comes the two two from DeFries, way outside. Three and two the count now. It's up high for ball four. So a lead off walk. It's going to bring up Brooks Miller. Miller's walked, been hit by a pitch. And was out on a 5-3 ground out. A great play by Jet Buck laying out flat, getting the ball. And throwing him out to Wade at first. We're going to get a pitching change. Stay with us. We'll be back. Pitching change for the Blue Devils, Dalton Smith. He is from Raymore, Missouri. He will come to the mound. They're going to make him get rid of the multicolored glove. So he'll make his way back to the mound, Miller Erlob. And then Pringle, if anyone is able to keep things going. We've got a runner at first with nobody out. 
Miller's been walked, had a base on Bowles, and Jet Buck took a base hit away from him, as I already mentioned. It's up high, 1 0 oh, the count. Down low, 2 0 oh, the count. Three and oh the count. There's a strike called three and one the count. Three and two, the count. Yes, because we had the low strike called for the first one. Going to be a little check swing, but hit by a pitch. So that'll have runners at first and second. So Miller's been hit by a pitch twice in this game. He'll have a couple of sore spots tomorrow. That's going to bring up her lob. He had struck out, walked, and had a double. He'll step in with runners at first and second. Nobody out. Squares to bunt. That's going to be foul. Charging in hard on that one was Jet Buck. But could not catch it in the air. Owen won the count. On the shortstop for the Panthers are lob. There's a foul ball off the bat, off the foot. So quickly, Owen to the count on her lob. See if the coach stays with the bunt or with two strikes pulls it off owing to the count runners at first and second high and inside one and two the count There's a ground ball right back up the middle. Buck gets that on the shortstop. Or excuse me, Lee Allen Jr. gets that on the shortstop side. I thought it was going to get up the middle past Goldback, and he steps on second for the fielder's choice. So Erlob out on the fielder's choice. That's going to bring up Pringle. Pringles had an RBI base hit, an RBI ground out, and a walk so far in this one. He's up there with one, one out and runners at the corners. Nicely blocked by Buffington, 1-0 the count. Seven runs on, nine hits for the Panthers. Four runs on, seven hits by the Blue Devils. They trail by three here in the top of the sixth. There's a ball headed into the left center. 
That's going to score one run. And sliding into second with an RBI double is Pringle. That's going to bring the total to eight to four. For the Panthers. So that's going to bring up Snodgrass. Snodgrass is grounded out to the first baseman unassisted. Struck out and had an RBI base hit. He'll step in with runners at second and third. One out. Strike called. At the knees right down the middle. Owen won the count. Breaking pitch a little bit low. One ball, one strike, one out, one run in in the inning for the Panthers. Cade Snodgrass, the third baseman at the plate. Not sure what the question is here. The first base, or excuse me, the third base coach is out visiting with the umpire in the field, and now Coach Murray, the head coach from the Panthers, coming out to speak with the home plate umpire. One and two, the count. We're ready to go again. One ball, two strikes on Snodgrass. Breaking ball, he stays with it and fouls it out of play. We'll do the one two again. The ball headed in two. Right center, that's taken care of by the right fielder, Ken Dallas, for the out. We get the out, but it becomes a sack fly. A nice play for We had the four unassisted at second base, and that was caught correct. So two down. I just was wanting to be sure I didn't miss something. I thought maybe they called him safe. That makes it 9-4. There's a ball headed down the right field line. That's going to get in the bullpen and be foul. So quickly 0-2 the count. Another play, another pitch back and out of play. Luke Westerman up there, he struck out, grounded out to second base and had a base hit. The ball hit it in. So an RBI base hit for Westerman. So that's back-to-back -back ground uh, base hits to right field for Westerman. That one yielded a run and makes it 10 to 4. So Reed Liston will step in. He's been called out on strikes, had a base hit, and... Grounded in the fielder's choice down to Voida at first and back to Buffington and home plate to save a run. Swing and a miss of that high heater. One ball, one strike. So three runs in in the inning so far to make a total of 10 for the Panthers. 
there's a swing and a miss. So one and two the count. Little bit low. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Swing and a miss. For the third out, the Panthers get three runs on two hits. Had a hit by pitch and a walk. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Blue Devils trailing 10-4. We'll be back. All right, here we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Blue Devils with a lot of work to do. They trail 10-4. to four. Scheduled seven-inning game, so we're down to our last six outs. Candelis, Buck, and Allen Jr. scheduled up for the Blue Devils. There's a strike right through there. Oldham Liston Fry across the outfield left to right for the Panthers. Snodgrass, Erlob, Westerman, Miller. One and one the count. Pringle behind the plate. Sharp has gone all the way so far for Neosho. Inside curveball, and Ken Dellis drives it foul way out in front of it. One and two the count. Foul ball hit it, or excuse me, fly ball hit it into left field. Oldham with the catch of that for the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Buck. Jet Buck will step in with one out, nobody on. He's reached on a base on balls and had a base hit. One ball, one strike. Jet Buck out on a little ground ball out to the second baseman, Westerman, to Miller. Austin Burroughs to pinch hit for Lee Allen, Jr.,
It's a ground ball at the third baseman, Snodgrass. He's up with it over to Miller for the 5-3 ground out for the last out of the inning. So we go to the top of the seventh. Blue Devils trailing by six. We'll be back. Top of the seventh we go. Blue Devils trail by six. Oldham, Custer, and Fry scheduled up. There's a strike called one ball, one strike. What a one the count. It's up high. Austin Oldham, the left fielder, he's walked, had a base hit, grounded back to the pitcher. And had an RBI base hit, a two RBI base hit. That misses outside three and one the count. Swing and a miss of that pitch, so three and two the count. Foul ball back and into the screen. And a base on balls. That's prompted Coach Goldbeck to head to the mound. I'm guessing we're going to have a... Talk at the man. We've got another pitching change coming. We'll get that change. We'll be back to you. Stay with us. Blue Devils still battling, but they're down six here in the seventh. This is a seven-inning scheduled game. We'll be back. Pitching change has been made for the Blue Devils. Carson Rosen from Topeka, Kansas. He went to Washburn Rural High School. It's going to bring up Cam Custer. 
Custer's had a base hit, a strikeout, a ground back to the pitcher, and called out on strikes. He will step in with nobody out and a runner at first base to face Rosen. Rosen's on in relief, or yes, relief of Dalton Smith. Nicely blocked by the catcher, Buffington, to keep that from going back to the screen. Runner goes, and the ball gets into the outfield. So a stolen base by Oldham. Two and zero, the count. Breaking pitch right through there for strike one called. Two and one, the count. So runners now first and third. Base hit for Custer. It's going to bring up Brendan Fry. Fry struck out, had a base hit, popped out. Shallow left field to Jet Buck at third and had a base on balls. There's a swing and a miss at that first pitch. Oh, and one the count. Outside. One and one the count. Runners at the corners for the Panthers. Top of the seventh inning action of this first game of the doubleheader, which is a seven inning scheduled game. Misses a little bit low. Two and one the count. Another pitch down low, three and one. Strike called outside corner at the knees. Three and two the count. Throw over to first, back in safely is Custer. Foul ball headed down the left field line. That's going to be foul. We'll do the 3 2 again. Strike three called. The bender caught him looking. It's going to bring up Brooks Miller. Miller will step in with one out. Runners at the corners. Miller's walked, been hit by a pitch twice, and was robbed. Just misses a little outside. Pretty good pitch right there. Robbed of a base hit by... Jet Buck at third on a diving play on the ground ball, headed in the left. Threw him out to Woyda at first. A high fly ball into right center. Going over to take care of that is Mick Harg. So a sack fly for Brooks Miller. Make it 11 to 4.
Swing and a miss of that first pitch to Erlob. Erlob is struck out. Reached on a base on balls, had a double, and fielder's choice. There's a hit by a pitch. So that's going to bring up Pringle. He's had a base hit for an RBI. A ground out to second baseman for an RBI. A base on balls and a double into left center for another RBI. So he has three RBI in the game. Runners at first and second. Two outs. There's a strike. By Rosen catches the outside corner. Eleven to four now. The Blue Devils trail. They trying to Rosen trying to get them into the dugout. They've got three outs left to try and do something here. There's Owen to the count on the catcher Pringle. Nicely blocked by the catcher. Buffington. So one and two the count. Foul ball back into the net. We'll do the one two again. In the dirt, again blocked by Buffington. Sunshiny day, but very cool here on the campus of the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Blue Devils. Down low. Three and two the count. So the runners will have the advantage of being off and running with the pitch. Just a little bit outside, ball four. So that'll bring up Snodgrass. He's grounded out to first base, struck out, had an RBI base hit, and a fly out to Kendellis in right field. Foul ball over the first base dugout. Owen won the count. Nice block by Buffington. One ball, one strike, two outs. Panthers 11 runs on 12 hits. Blue Devils four runs on seven hits. Neither team with an error. There's a swing and a miss. Actually a foul into the glove of Buffington. up high. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Strike three called, catches the outside corner. So one run on one hit. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Blue Devils trail by seven. They got a lot of work to do. We'll be back.
pitching change for the Panthers. Keegan McDonald from Clay Center, Kansas, went to Clay Center High School. He comes to the mound to try and close this thing out. McHart, Goldback, and Patterson scheduled up for the Blue Devils. A whole lot of work to do. Need a whole lot of base runners. McHarg's had a home run out on a bunt and reached on a base on balls. Two and over the count. Strike inside corner at the knees. Two and one the count. On the center fielder, Peyton McHarg. That's up high. Three and one the count. Foul ball back and out of play. It's up high for ball four. So the leadoff hitter, McHarg, is on. It's going to bring up Gary Goldback. He's had a base hit, a fly out to left field, and out on a fielder's choice, or excuse me. Yes, ground ball to the second baseman, fielder's choice over to the shortstop. That misses 1-0 and the count. There's a strike called. McCarg at first. Go back at the plate. Two and one the count. Nine. Check swing, foul ball into the glove of the catcher. Two balls and two strikes. The high fly ball into center field. Liston over to take care of that for the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson has had a base hit to left field, a fly out to center field, and a strikeout. He'll step in with a runner at first base and one out. Outside, first pitch to him, 1-0 the count. Keegan McDonald on in relief of Dax Sharp, who went six innings. There's a strike called at the belt inside part of the plate. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Breaking pitch gets right down into the middle of the strike zone. One and two the count. It's up high. Two balls, two strikes, and an out. Runner at first base is Mick Harg. That's down low, so three and two the count now on Patterson. The ball headed into left field. So that's going to bring up Waito. Waito will step in with runners at first and second with one out.
There's a strike called. Woody's had a sack bunt called out on strikes and out on a ground ball to Miller at first base, unassisted. There's strike two called. Owen to the count. Blue Devils down to their last two outs. So Boyda pops out in foul territory to the catcher, Pringle. So the Blue Devils have two outs now. McGee will step to the plate. That's a strike called right down the middle at the belt. So the Blue Devils down to their last out. They trail 11 to 7. Runners at first and second. McGee's had a double, a strikeout, and a single in this one. That's up just a little bit. One and one the count. McGee, the left fielder, that double had two RBI on it in the first inning. That's outside. Two and one the count. McDonald, one out away from getting sharp out and finishing the game. It's a foul ball that may get out of play over to the first base side, but gets out of play going over to take a look is Miller and Westerman. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Blue Devils down to their last out. They trail by seven. Swing and the miss of that breaking pitch. So the final in this one is 11 to four. We'll take about a 20-minute break. We'll come back for the fourth and final game of this four-game set. The first one on Friday went to the Panthers, the second one to the Blue Devils, and the first one to the day. Today to the Panthers. We'll be back in about 20 minutes for the second game. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 